This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello there, I'm Virginia Chow with this ABC 10 News update. This week marks the fourth week Republic Services sanitation workers have been on strike. That has led to overflowing trash cans and dumpsters. But some relief could be coming. According to the Chula Vista Mayor's Office, Republic Services has promised that trash will be picked up starting today. No details on whether that will be done by the extra crews brought in by the company while the regular workers are on strike. San Diego businesses having a hard time filling shifts as more employees and estimated 5 million in the U.S. are expected to be out sick nationwide this week due to COVID. The U.S. is reporting an average of just under 700,000 positive cases every day. County officials are urging San Diegans to get vaccinated and get boosted and get tested only when necessary. Remaining school districts and charter schools ready to distribute the rest of the at-home COVID test kits to families across the county. Last week, the San Diego County Office of Education only received about half of the needed tests from the state. That left 19 districts and charter schools without kits to give to students. But yesterday morning, the remaining 205,000 kits arrived. The county says families will be contacted directly by their schools about how to receive those test kits. All right, let's check in with the mess of Vanessa a pause to find out what the forecast holds for us today. Nice one, huh? Oh, it's gorgeous out. Warm and cloudy conditions help kick off the start of your work week and looking ahead to this afternoon will still continue to trend 5 to 10 degrees above average. Most of us west of the mountains will hang out in the 70s, 50s in the mountains, 70s in the desert area. This warming pattern will last until the middle of the week and we have cooling on the way with the even a chance of some showers looking ahead to Thursday and Friday. Virginia. Thanks so much, Vanessa. For the latest news, weather and traffic, just go to 10news.com or you can download our free app from your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Virginia Shaw.